uh, Stony Nakoda AV Club, uh, for me, as the years went by, I saw it as uh, opportunities for youth. Uh, there's always opportunities on the table and always initiatives for youth to take on and to lead forth on their own, even if, like, if they have their own ideas to do, which has happened in the club as well. So I think it's a youth-focused or a self-developing young uh, filmmakers club, which is pretty cool, I think. AV Club teaches us to learn how to do photography, videography work, and basically anything resulting in filming and documentaries. And we also try to get the youth to come out and participate with as well if they want to learn photography. So it gives them a good, it keeps them busy keeps them from staying out of trouble it keeps them from it definitely gives them an opportunity to learn new things that they think you know that they can take on in the future as they get older how did the AV club get started I don't really know it just <clears throat> kind of happened it was just a bunch of cousins and Jared just making horror films I guess. Stony AV Club for me I did not know it was going to be uh, a thing. I just had a whole bunch of cousins in my house every day and at that time there were no um, uh, youth projects and so I decided to ask my cousins that I, we should just make a movie or something and so we did and that's how it all began so we just started making a horror film and that was 10 years ago and it's still continue what we're doing and then it's getting bigger every day and every year talk about the project that AV club worked on in 2019 when they applied for original people program <clears throat> well i got involved as a uh... Jared was making a, a film. He asked if I would like to make music with him, and you know, I told him, yeah. Well, the reason why it's in Stony language is <clears throat> because we're Estonies, uh, also known as the Wapamaxis, and <clears throat> you know, we wanted to add like a little taste of our like our language into these these songs. I came to an idea this film. And I want to write about how people, everyday people are, how it is really hard to get by. And one of the most common around in Morley is music because it's always there for us. That's why I want to write a, a music and a film. And I thought that would be a fun idea. What are the challenges you are facing during the pandemic of 2020? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, the challenges I faced was having to learn how to do video chats online and learning everything online, which I've never learned ever. So that was one of the challenges I had to face. Usually with uh, the AV club, it's as much as we want to work on something, you know, the whole pandemic is there and um, it just makes things very difficult. We are trying to keep everything social distance while we're filming. We're in masks in the vehicles and we're in masks everywhere we can. And we're just like really, really being careful in what we're doing. What projects are the AV Club looking forward to 2021 and beyond? Like I don't think anything would ever stop the AV Club from, you know, like, doing you know what we all love to do and <clears throat> I know for sure that everyone should get their hopes up because every year it just comes it, it gets pretty exciting uh, it gets pretty exciting you know we have a strong team uh, <clears throat> we have equipment transportation you know it's I don't think anything can stop us. I really looking forward to do more projects in the future and that will be amazing to actually look in, into it. And I can't wait to get involved with anyone and meet new people.
and meet new new youth is gonna be the next uh, film director or yeah so we, we are looking we are looking for more new uh, youth out here so we can actually help them to realize what their dreams are I like to thank all the uncles and aunties mothers fathers Akeda you pull through for the funding thank you get this busy <laughs> What he said. <laughs> 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 okay.